Investment. Trade and investments. You know, if you are if you are friendly to the Americans or to the Europeans, certainly you can attract their their uh, investments here. Mm -hmm. uh, but will that kind of friendship also put the Philippines, say, at a strategic disadvantage when we also become now a target for international terrorists? Well, that's part that that's part of the term. Mm -hmm. I mean, it goes it goes without saying that wherever you have benefits, you must have risks. Wherever you have losses, you may have profits. There are always two sides of the picture. And at this stage, do you think that the benefits outweigh the risks involved? At this point, yes, definitely. I cannot disagree. Yeah. There's another uh, factor of geopolitics, yes. globalization and outsourcing. I think we are beneficiaries of outsourcing as far as call center is concerned. And, huh? and, and uh, manpower. Yes, precisely. Manpower. Yes. So how would you, can you elaborate on that? Well, it's, it's, it's a lot simpler if you equate it to, to the amount of dollars that mm. our overseas the remittances. Filipino yeah. workers have uh, taken in. We now average $8 billion a year, you know, and that's a lot of money. In fact, in the last, uh, in the last peso crisis, it helped void the Philippine economy without, without those uh, dollars that uh, were coming in we would be in deep soup, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to, to put it mildly. So in, in fact, in, 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 in the uh, advent of uh, borderless economies, and the Philippines, in fact, is benefiting a lot because with the shortage of employment here in this country, we have to send out a lot of migrant workers to other countries that are more prosperous than yes. we are. Yeah. And in fact, we are uh, taking advantage of our friendly relationships yeah. with the U.S., yes. with the European countries, yeah. and other Southeast Asian nations, and we've scattered Filipinos to all four corners of the world. So indeed, geopolitics has been, uh, I suppose, in, fact, in, in, in case, our favor. Yes, uh, in fact, in this case, it has fed, it has fueled our underground economy. Can you imagine how many anak, ng, anak, mm. anak pawis ng Saudi Arabia jeepneys are running in the provinces? And these are these are remittances from the workers in Saudi Arabia. So how does that jive now with uh, with with of course Filipinos with traditional views that we have to be more nationalistic, looking inward instead of outward? That went out of the window. <laughs> that went out of the window at the end of the Cold War. In mm -hmm. fact, if you want to go back, the very first time that the Ilocano uh, plantation worker went to Hawaii to work in the sugar plantations in Hawaii. That started the Filipino diaspora, you know, uh -huh. the, the, the uh, scattering of the Filipinos abroad to look for better pastures. Mind you, we don't, have, we don't have a monopoly of that. The Chinese did that to the Americas during uh, the early uh, 18, 1800, you know. The Chinese went to San Francisco first. That's where they landed. And they opened up the laundry shops. And, mm -hmm. and as much as the Filipinos ordered, uh, I mean, opened their... their uh, their uh, sari sari stores in the neighborhood, you know. So, well, it's mm. settled down. Mm. It's the human resources of the Philippines that is giving us the competitive advantage in the world. Let us go to another factor of job politics, public health. It seems so far away and remote, and yet when we talk of AIDS, SARS, birth, they become so concrete. Yes, and this is the only way we can appreciate the, the, the state of borderless mm -hmm. uh, state of public health. Can you imagine how many people died in Hong Kong and in China because of SAR? And yet the Chinese government did not tried want to, to cover admit. It up. They, they covered it up. They, they, they not only tried, they succeeded in the first <laughs> months. You know? In fact, in the first year they succeeded. But eventually, you know, truth was, uh, went out. Tru truth was spilled out. And because, precisely because of that, and if we did not know that at all, then the Filipinos would have been endangered by the public health or, or inferior public health states. Well, Noli, I think we've run out of time uh, in our discussion. We'd like to thank our guest, uh, Gil Santos, who is the chair and editor-in-chief of Vox Populi Philippines, our public policy recommendation after the break. You are engaged in public policy forum on ANC and International Academy of Management and Economics Special. In the light of our discussion, Public Policy Forum recommends that we strengthen the national economy, modernize the armed forces, the army, the air force, and the navy, and inspire our people to make our nation proud and great. 
and that may just put the Philippines in the world as a prosperous and free nation. I'm Tony Velasquez. So the people may know, I'm Noli Santos. This is your Public Policy Forum.